From the biggest little city in the world comes the biggest little agency in the world, housed in a home. And PSR, Professional Sports Representation, is a small family business run by a husband and wife team, Bob and Lynn Lamont. They work with some of the biggest names in the world of sports, and their amazing success story has its origins in the Bay Area when Bob was a high school teacher in San Jose. Well, I think the most important thing about it was that I never set out to be a sports agent. I set out to be an educator. Yet today, PSR represents a great variety of coaches and GMs, some of which featured in Winning the NFL Way, Lamont's book on business published in 2004. Mike Holmgren, John Gruden, John Fox, Andy Reid, and Mike Sherman included. And Lamont's background has been the basis for his success. He played football at Santa Clara University, and in the 70s, when San Jose's Santa Teresa High and Oak Grove High shared facilities, he was a history teacher and a coach. I never was about the money. I always have felt that if you chase money, you'll never find your dreams. But if you chase your dreams, you'll always find the money. And that's why I taught for so many years, and then along the way became a full-time agent when our kids were in college. In the middle of his teaching career, Lamont's first client was a San Jose native he knew as a high school student. And in 1981, after Cal quarterback Rich Campbell was taken sixth overall in the draft by the Green Bay Packers, Lamont became the first high school teacher to ever represent an NFL first-round pick. And more clients came by referral from various sports, all with South Bay ties. Baseball pitcher Dave Steeb. Santa Clara basketball player Nick Vanos, and San Jose State speedster Mervin Fernandez, who found his way to the Raiders, among them. But it was a fellow coach he became friends with in the mid-70s that was part of how PSR became specialized. Mike Holmgren, also a San Jose high school teacher and coach, was at a crossroads. Presented with a scenario of leaving his steady job to take an assistant coaching role at San Francisco State, he sought Lamont's advice, which ended up being fortuitous, all across the board. I said, you're the best I've ever seen. You must take that opportunity. If you don't do it now, you'll never do it. Most people in his career path would have started as GAs at 21. They wouldn't have become history teachers and coach high school football. Now, for myself, I asked him, as long as you asked me that question, the Campbells are interested in having me represent him. Do you think I could become a sports agent? And he said, well, I think you'd be great as, as a sports agent. You know, you're honest, you're intelligent, you should do it. Well, in effect, I think it's probably a good thing that he, I said yes to him and he said yes to me because it's been a very wonderful run. Holmgren and Lamont's success are very much in line as they both built careers by proving the skeptics wrong. Everyone said when he went to Green Bay, don't worry about it, he'll lose. Everyone loses in Green Bay. No one knew who John Gruden was, Andy Reid. Those were all people that they said they'll all be fired anyway, don't worry about it. Well, as he was able to cultivate them, in going forward with the Shermans and the Morning Wigs and the various people that he was able to cultivate, the Gerons, the Mariucci's, all these people under his guidance, which is almost a, a story unto itself, we were able to then certainly become a part of that tree as he would recommend them to us and we would go forward. And forward they went and continue to go as the Lamonts are dedicated to making sure the coaches they work with are prepared for everything as if they were CEOs. I never felt that I was an agent, I felt I was an academic. And Lynn and I have always tried to make sure that we brought to the table something besides just dollars and cents. And we felt that if you could educate a person, both in the financial area, as Lynn handles the management reports for us, and I could in so far as the preparation for coaching and interviewing and being able to deal with the media, that we would be able to offer something that no one else did. Sometimes I have to pinch myself it's incredible and that we've been able as a husband and wife team which is difficult enough in the business working together but we, it's worked well because we have different areas of the business that we work in and I don't cross into Bob's area and he normally doesn't cross into my area and it's worked beautifully uh, we we love our business it's uh, it's a dream if great coaches are great teachers, it makes complete sense that an accomplished teacher would help coaches at the highest level navigate the business of pro football so they can focus on what they do best. I would say that education teaches you lessons that are really impossible to learn unless you're found in that academic area. It teaches you that money isn't the center of it, but ideas are the center of it. It teaches you that relationships are important. 
And education is a fundamental basis of everything we do. Without that background, I don't think there's any way I could have ever gone on to become a sports agent, whether I wanted to or not. But being asked into it, we really felt that as a person that had been a player, had been a coach, had certainly counseled athletes, and then represented athletes, that we did have a background that would help. And while cornering the market, they've helped expand that market. The average head coaching salary in 1988 was around $300,000 a year. Today, it's $3.5 million. But that doesn't keep the Lamonts, who are very grounded in family, from running PSR like a family. So we felt as a husband and wife team that the most successful thing we could do was make it all about La Familia. And the family was everything. And while we started small and didn't have a lot of clients, when you have a referral company, that's the only way you can really do it. And to stay true to that over the last going on four decades has probably been the biggest secret to our success. And we were able to develop a motto that it wasn't about us being a big time company, but just that rather we represent a lot of big time people. And we try to work with the best people in the business and do the best work for the best people in the business. Many agencies, and I call that a bottom-up philosophy, you build. Many agencies have a top-down philosophy where they just spew a lot of things out there and hope that it works. And it's all about volume. We're diametrically opposed to that. And the family environment has been especially welcoming for longtime assistant Misty Martin and the agency's new associate, Matt Baldwin. In my experiences in the past, it was uh, you know, a lot of learning on your own and, and trying to pick up, learning by doing, essentially. Uh, with Bob, I'm essentially you know, getting a master's <laughs> degree in uh, you know, becoming the best sports agents, agent in the industry. Bob and Lynn are the most genuine people in the world. They're uh, fun, they're loving, they're giving, they're sincere, they're genuine. It's a journey that has truly come full circle. Right now I do the same amount of teaching and the same amount of coaching I did as an educator at Oak Grove and Santa Teresa High School. And we were blessed to do it. And when you have great clients, you become a great agent. If you don't have great clients, you don't become a great agent.